happens to be the first pair on the racetrack. So the pressure on both of these drivers, really. But when you have Amelie Motor Oil on the side of your car, like Terry McMillan, pressure's even bigger right now for him. You, know, you always want to do well with your sponsor's race, and I, I can attest to that. I've done well at some, and I've done horrible at others, and there's no worse feeling. Good news, though, right now, we had some oil downs in the previous session. This session is definitely running later than it would have cooler temperatures, so the track should be a little bit tighter. The bad news is neither of these drivers have really gotten down the track in three sessions, so they don't have a great handle on the race cars right now. now there's a little bit of wiggle room, too. Pat Dakin represents the 16th position right now, 4.06, and there are three cars in front of him in the 390. McMillan's fighting it. Ooh. He saw the big fire. And Terry McMillan for the second consecutive year. How about Grubby? Will not qualify at his sponsor's event as Grubnick goes all the way up to the number four spot. How about Grubby goes up there and runs a 382. There's not a even tire out, the field. too. There's a tire out on McMillan's car, it looks like. Well, watch him. It looks like he had cylinders out there. That car was just laboring two cylinders out, but he knew it. I mean, I mean he fell in, but you know, you got to get in the show. It only had a 406 bump. If it could have made it to the finish line before it would have blown up, might possibly have gotten into the show. But unfortunately for Terry, it blew up just around the eighth mile mark. Shoots came out, and as a result, he is not going to qualify. Tough break. As that car started to slow down, you saw the air coming out of the Goodyear slick on the right side, and that's what gave us that cockeyed view as Terry brought that car to a stop. Tough, tough weekend again here in Gainesville, Florida for Terry McMillan.